Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Bog Deep TV, where we're slowly getting closer to Bogging Deep. I haven't found one along the way. So, today we got, again, an engine exchange and a different install. I haven't, I think maybe one of the person with the Humvee's done this so far that I know of. And they've kind of done what I'm doing. But today we are installing a digital instrument cluster on the Humvee. So it's gonna be a little work. I guess what well, we gotta swap out a few sensors for different ones and do a little bit of fabrication. And we're also racing this good old Kentucky weather because we got went from snow and ice to about to need the arc, you know, because it's about the flood. So uh, we're gonna get into this. So first thing we're gonna do is Play, do everything I need to do while standing outside the Humvee in case it does rain so I can sit in the somewhat drier Humvee and finish off uh, everything from the inside so first thing we gotta get cracking at is uh, you can kind of see there's a little sensor down in there and I have to undo it and then put the new one in so that's gonna be our temp sensor for the water so I'm gonna get you all set up seeing so somewhat see so I can somewhat see and uh, we'll get cracking hopefully you can see down in there somewhat Crisis mostly averted. So I'm not quite sure. See. So you see that you see that new little brass fitting in there? A little shiny piece right there. That's what we just replaced. It's so hard trying to position this camera. Work with me here. Alright, y'all see it. Alright, so now I got the wire on that, got it in, got it tightened down. Finally. Well it's been a couple seconds for y'all, it's been like an hour for me. That was a pain. Plus I ran some of the wires over here, I'll show you those in a minute. But next we're gonna pull off the oil pressure center and place it with a new one hopefully maybe <sighs> well, of course the ones in the block wants to spin Just 
Just in my hand yet. Kinda. Yes. No. Yes, no, yes, no, yes. one's so much easier. And of course, different size. A wee bit smaller still. There we go, I like that better. I've been working on the Humvee all the damn long day. I should go on a voice. And then this, I'll tap onto this, of course I don't have my electrical tape in here, but what I do have is duct tape. Alright, so next we're going to go and install the tachometer. So with the kit I got, I got the Dakota Digital SGI 100BT, which found out, even though it doesn't say any directions, according to their website, is Bluetooth. So once I get this set up, I can either program it from this the box itself, or I can connect it to my phone and Bluetooth it that way and connect it. But we're going to tap into this and then run it that way. And so this is going, because that's the way OEM Humvees are red for the uh, RPMs. So we're going to tap in. This is a negative. This is a positive. The wires I sent with this are too, a little bit too short. So I'm going to run two new wires. I'm sure like for other applications it'd be fine, but again, mine's not your normal application. So I'm gonna run these wires really quick. So I'm trying to make this look like, you know, I know what I'm doing, professional install. When in reality, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants.
All right, so I got my homework knocked out. Now I got this cut out, so I made like 15 different patterns and everything. I want to make this work right. I have some cardboard and a couple other tools. It doesn't look the prettiest. It doesn't match up as well as I'd like. But it's good enough. And I just put that first bolt on upside down. Of course I did. Well, I think it's upside down. Hopefully. I'm guessing the screen has, you know, you can tell if it's which way it is. I'm not really sure. But if not, I'm going to have to take this all apart and put it back. But you know, that's the story of my life. Here comes the rain, always falling in with me, just swinging, I think I can get shit done. Here comes the rain. Alright, back again. Different day, same project. Actually, for once, it's not a different weekend, it's actually the same weekend, just a different day. In Kentucky Light, of course, it's beautiful, well, not a beautiful day, but it's not raining right now. So I didn't have to rush as much as I did yesterday. But, got everything cleaned up, mostly. Um, got the wires ran, there you go. Put them in some conduit, got the antenna for the GPS ran, kind of duct taped for right now, but until I figure that out. I gotta figure out those wires for the amber lights up front. I gotta make them look nicer eventually. Got everything ran, see a little conduit back there over here to my switch. Which, if you're doing this in a normal vehicle, you don't have to do the switch. You just wire it to 12 volt accessory with me, put it in here, and have to wire it to the um, power inverter, to the fuse block, and then fuse block over here to power it. I have to put in a switch. If not, it would be on all the time and just drain all the power from our batteries. So, switched. Uh,. Got yeah, back to it. Ooh, text message. Got all this down here. So that, like, I figure where I'm gonna put that. But that's the thing I'm supposed to read my RPM since into a screen or computer than the screen. Control module, conduit, all that stuff. You can see my ground and power wires running. I trace them underneath that to the batteries. And then the only thing left to do. Put in a fuse and flip the switch and start the Humvee. And really hope that the coolant thing I put it, the coolant sensor, doesn't leak. And then top the Humvee off with coolant. Because it lost a lot. But yeah, that's about it. So, without further ado, let's put this fuse in. Set y'all up over here. Y'all can see me put this fuse in. Hopefully it doesn't blow up in my face. Ow. So I'm gonna go with, you know what, let's start with 10 amps. I was gonna go with 15, but let's go with 10 if I can get to it. Fuse. Alright, it didn't blow. That's one the first good sign. Now to walk back on the other side. Alright. Back, never mind. Had to go and grab my distilled water and coolant to make sure. Once I started the engine, everything works, so, alright, let's see if it turns on, yes, would you look at that, it 
The reading feels 100%, that's not exactly right, but it's close. I have nothing going wrong so far. I say so far. Fuel is actually reading a different level. Oil pressure's right. Coolant temps going up. <laughs> oh yes. around with the uh, pack thing figure that out might have to rewire it to the alternator like it originally wanted me to but I, it's a pain to do that to figure out which one is actually the W post or the S post but I might have to and then uh, put the seat back on cover to cover for the fuse block and make sure coolant levels right and take it for a spin see how it works but uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, before we end the video, I want to make sure to uh, let y'all know that we do read everyone's comments. Some comments we we try to respond to every comments that you know you guys send us. Other ones we just feel it's better for us not to respond when it comes to uh, responding to some of the stuff y'all say. But uh, thank you for still responding, you know. And, Gives me something to look into. Gives me, you know, looking forward to what I want to do. But again, this, I'm building my dream Humvee. I'm going to do some stupid stuff. I'm going to use cheap Chinese projects because I'm on a budget. And I'm making it what I want and what I love. So, remember, tell a, phone, tell a friend. Tell a lot about where you've been. You know, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Uh, probably be doing some more videos on uh, TikTok with the dash working. Do video shoots all, or photo shoots all the time on uh, Instagram because they're so easy to do and they're fun, to me at least. But uh, thank you all for watching and uh, have a good day. Yep.